In the 1900s, Joseph Campbell highlighted a characteristic of storytelling that can be seen in most, if not all, narratives that exist today. Whether it be in TV, movies, books, comics, or poetry, stories seem to not only function best when they utilize what Campbell coined the hero's journey, but they also tap into our psyche. And despite the hero's journey being something that we may have witnessed countless times in the stories that we engage with, we keep going back for more. Why is this so? Well, for one, we like good stories. It's what humans like best. From a story around the campfire to an accepted road rule, all the way to a literary great like The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, stories are what bind society together. But more than that, if done right, it is the underlying mythological concepts that are ingrained into us that we automatically understand and accept that makes us love stories. And alongside this, it is the symbolism that can be seen in all of our favourites that we tend to not specifically point out or articulate, but cause them to have a powerful hold upon us. But what is the hero's journey? In short, it is a process of discovery, attainment, and growth for the character, or characters, in the story. In the simplest form, as stated in The Hero with a Thousand Faces, Campbell represents it as a three-step process that includes separation, initiation, and return. Of course, it can be a lot more complicated than this, but as a brief overview, the hero's journey can be broken down into 12 main stages, as seen in this diagram. Starting off, we meet the hero in their ordinary life. Eventually, they are lured, abducted, or voluntarily proceed to their call of adventure. Once there, the hero is faced with an opportunity that entails some form of resistance. Following this, they defeat or subdue this resistance and step across the threshold to begin their evolution. We see this all the time in movies. We watch Luke Skywalker deny an opportunity to become a star pilot and wind up finding his aunt and uncle dead as a result of taking the droids out. We watch Simba disobey his father and venture to the elephant graveyard, which then results in the death of Mufasa. And we watch it when Peter Parker is hell-bent on making quick cash with his powers, which results in the death of his uncle, i.e. his father figure. After this refusal of the call, the denial of something more, the hero then takes the plunge and begins their journey. Along the way, they face various challenges, meet enemies, form friendships, discover attributes of their persona that they previously never tapped into, and just when everything seems lost, they burst up and out of the ashes, becoming the hero they were destined to be, and alter and evolve to a new state of being that was not known when they first left their ordinary life. Let's take a look at an example of this journey in one of the greatest movies of all time, Toy Story. When we meet Woody, it is life in the ordinary world. He's the top dog, he runs the show. Of course, it is obvious that some of the toys dislike his superiority, but generally speaking, Woody is not only Andy's favorite, but the kingpin among the toys. Woody's call to adventure presents itself when the new kid on the block known as Buzz Lightyear shows up. Threatened immediately by the appearance of this space ranger, Woody is slowly replaced by Buzz and his merchandise and is eventually thrown into the toy box, his own version of the underworld. At this point, Woody's whole world is turned upside down, where everything he thought he knew is gone. He's down at the bottom and not knowing what to do next. He lapses into denial and jealousy, fueled by his greed of being Andy's number one and his fear of change. Instead of accepting the alteration in his world, he refuses to evolve as a character, and so, to overcome his headspace and his emotions, he tries to regain control of the situation and decides to knock Buzz out of the window. This pushes the other toys into a frenzy, and as a result, Woody immediately loses the respect of his former toy friends. Things were already bad being shunned by his former best friend Andy, but out in the real world, things are about to get a whole lot worse. Down on the ground, Woody is instantly scared, sad, alone, but most of all, ashamed. He realizes what he did was wrong and decides to begin his journey of redemption. Given Buzz's relationship with the other toys, Woody starts to see Buzz as a mentor towards his redemption. But before that process can begin, Woody must first face his number one mortal enemy, Buzz Lightyear, i.e. the guy with a chip on his shoulder. So they battle it out at a petrol station, which then causes them to lose Andy entirely. But when everything seems lost, Woody becomes not only optimistic, but opportunistic by enticing Buzz to commandeer a spaceship that is heading to where Andy and his family are. Arriving at Pizza Planet, things are about to get a whole lot worse. Sid, Andy's troublesome neighbor, wins both Buzz and Woody in a classic claw machine game and takes them home to his lair, which quickly is realized to be their own version of hell. There, Buzz and Woody meet several toys that appear to be monsters. This pushes Woody to breaking point, and right when things seem incredibly dark for him, he is tempted to give up everything. But during his emotional breakdown that occurs alongside Buzz's toy identity crisis, they seize the sword and decide to team up to escape Sid's lair. The pair then round up the monsters and formulate a plan for their escape, and the road back begins as Andy and his family are on the cusp of leaving their home. Buzz and Woody, with help from their new allies, defeat the god of the underworld, Sid, aka Set, aka Satan, by toying with him and escape for the car. 
but thanks to the demon dog, Scud, they are denied a simple return. This then results in Woody being thrown off the truck that is full of the toys that hate him for what he did. Woody is then picked up by Buzz and RC and they're back on their way. Then the battery dies. Then they are stranded once again. How many times can Woody be defeated before he gives up? Right when things are bad, right when Woody lives through countless defeats, he never gives up his fighting spirit. Even when everything is lost, he still seeks opportunity. He still sees opportunity. He still looks for his chance for redemption and rebirth. Woody thinks back to Sid's lair and remembers the match in his gun holster. He ignites rocket loaded Buzz and they're on their way towards the other toys, towards Andy, towards Paradise. The toys see what Woody was trying to do and they go about helping him. Buzz soars like the wind and they both land in Andy's car shortly thereafter. Woody's hero's journey was a long one. It was filled with several tests and moments that broke his character and demeanor down constantly. Yet he overcame all of it, and along the way he discovered attributes of his character that he previously never had. He learned things about the dark reality of jealousy, greed, fear and anger, and overall realized his own self-worth that caused an evolution in his character. Plus, to top it all off, he got the princess too. Now, you may be thinking that an analyzation of stories like this cheapens the experience, but let's challenge this thought. For starters, a story with layers that delves into a mythological concept like the hero's journey that has been around for thousands of years doesn't necessarily dampen the story's strength, interesting aspects, or excitement, but rather enhances it. After all, it brings new meaning to the story, new levels of symbolism, reason, and motivation for why it is the way it is, why it is something we like so much. We may not realise it all the time, but we all love watching an ordinary person overcome something great. It's the classic underdog story, it's the story that is in our DNA. It's the story of life, the story of the first Tiktaalik that ventured its way onto land. The story of humankind pushing the boundaries in creativity, intelligence and technology. It is the story that shows us that no matter how scary things may seem, that if we step into the unknown, if we step across the threshold, not only can it result in a journey that is powerful, interesting and memorable, but it can push the limits of our character and the world around us. Whatever challenges we may face, whatever people we may meet, whatever we may learn about ourselves and the world around us, all of this can play a part in creating, defining and establishing the person we are today, and ultimately, result in the person that we can become tomorrow.